Few men are willing to brave the disapproval of their fellows, the censure of their colleagues, the wrath of their society. Moral courage is a rarer commodity than bravery in battle or great intelligence. It is the one essential, vital quality for those who seek to change the world, which yields most painfully to change. Aristotle tells us at the Olympic Games, it is not the finest or the strongest men who are crowned, but those who enter the lists. So too in the life of the honorable and the good, it is they who act rightly who win the prize. I believe that in this generation, those with the courage to enter the conflict will find themselves with companions in every corner of the world. The fourth danger, my friends, is comfort. The temptation to follow the easy and familiar path of personal ambition and financial success so grandly spread before those who have the privilege of an education. But that is not the road history has marked out for us. Like it or not, we live in interesting times. They are times of danger and uncertainty, but they are also the most creative of any time in the history of mankind. And everyone here will ultimately be judged, will ultimately judge himself on the effort he has contributed to building a new world society and the extent to which his ideals and goals have shaped that effort. With history the final judge of our deeds, let us go forth to lead the land we love, asking his blessing and his help, but knowing that here on earth, God's work must truly be our own.